All right. Drive by bus, welcome. Looking forward to it. So am I. It's been a while since I played a first person shooter. So, looking forward to this one. Hey, Gander. Good to see you too. Oh, man. I got the nice disappearing shoulder today. Don't worry about it. This is this shirt is teal. So, I, I don't know why this is making my green screen do weird stuff, but sure, fine. <laughs> it's cold. You've never played Half Life. Interesting. That's actually pretty surprising. I I don't think I've ever heard of anybody not playing this before, so. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just I'm just so powerful that I, I break things that I don't intend to break. Look at that, that's see my hand through through there. And speaking of speaking of superpower breaking things and pixelating things. Uh, I took some uh, a short clip of my VR streaming setup because I figured out how to do that today. Um, I I figured out the final steps for the VR stream, and I, I recorded some test footage, like a short clip of what it what it looks like. Um, so we'll I'll ask for opinions on things things that could be changed for it, but uh, we'll see. <clears throat> hello Zach, hello Potato, hello Inver, hello Anime Steven Seagal, welcome. So apologies last night for the for the stream cutting off, uh, though it did spare us from having to play more anime strategy PS1 game. Whew. Uh, uh, we're about 30 minutes away from completing it. The mic sounds insanely good for how small it is. Yeah, this is a um, this is an AKG C520. Uh, it's it's pretty much made for for headset applications. Like I have. Um, I have a different model over here, made by a company called Sure. This is what I used to use, and it's um, it's got a slightly larger thing. They're all uh, they're all condenser microphones. Um, they're just small diaphragm compared to like the the large diaphragm ones that you'd see on like a blue light blue Yeti. Um, and then it's it's hooked up to a uh, what's called a channel strip, a DB DBX two eight six S. And then that goes into a professional quality um, audio interface. So I got pretty decent gear, and that's that's what makes it sound all sound all right. And then the trick is for all this all this gear is that um, a lot of it you can get for very cheap from like thrift stores and eBay and such. So like brand new, all of this would have been easily like God, probably like. 1500 to two grand um, but I think for for all all everything it was like two or three hundred so <laughs> about as much as uh, see there sm7b through b yeah nice nice more like hack life part snore <laughs> I agree Welcome, guy with with weird name. <laughs> hey, foamed. Welcome. But yeah, audio audio is very difficult to get right. Also, I have the this is hooked up through a wireless uh, wireless transmitter, um, and same for my audio. So I have the the IEMs are being sent to a uh, um, this little Bluetooth receiver. And then that is hooked up to a transmitter, a Bluetooth transmitter, and then that's hooked up through optical to my audio interface. So it's it's very complicated, but it means that I can I can take my entire nice sounding audio setup, clip it to my belt, and then do VR, which uh, 
Uh, I'll show y'all all here early what the uh, what the VR setup looks like here. So this is a clip that I recorded earlier because I was testing out my HTC Vive VR headset streaming because um, I figured out a way to display chat like literally in the headset. Um, so I'll, I'll still be able to interact with you guys when I'm doing VR streaming. Uh, it's kind of a hacky method that it uh, that is used to, to make it work, but it works is the bottom line. Um, so here's here's kind of what it'll look like. This is the VR game Moss. Um, so I'm not going to have two uh, two cameras going at the same time. Like uh, this is a sit down VR game. So uh, uh, I'm considering not having a, a camera at all well, because again, uh, all you're going to see ago. is <laughs> is <yours> that. <laughs> But this so, story is not uh, alone. so I'm not I'm not so sure about that. But uh, this is this is pretty much what it's gonna look like for uh, for VR streaming, and I'll still be able to have the Discord chat and the YouTube chat visible when I have the uh, the headset on. Um, and this is this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. So it's it's not that much different than a a regular ass first person the game. What came from yeah, we're in the machine. This is skies would change yep. the world of moss. That's all. Forever. That's all of what it's gonna look like. The so peace that had settled across the land I don't know. I, I, it, it doesn't an require any real changes nightmare. to my stream setup, so night, <laughs> not a big deal. The, the only uh, the only difficult part for me was um, I had to get my 3D depth cameras uh, set up. Uh, so my my camera I'm using right now is a nice 4K camera, but it. Uh, it doesn't have a good lens in it, so it's it's currently zoomed out as far as it can be. It could go in even tighter. This is zoomed all the way out, and it's it only gets this amount covered in the green screen. But if I use my other camera, uh, I can I can get essentially full body, and we all want the full body, right? Uh, so that's um uh that's how we'll do it. So. So yeah, essentially the bottom line is we good for streaming Moss and for streaming Half-Life Alex and uh, and all that. Headset work well with glasses. So the the headset that I have, I actually have it right over here. <clears throat> so the headset that I am going to be using for the foreseeable future is this. This is a HTC Vive. Um, this is one of the original model headsets that uh, that came out and. Um, And yeah, I can I can totally wear this thing without taking my glasses off. Like it 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 gets uncomfortably close to my glasses, and I have fairly um, fairly deep glasses, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is extremely metal, so I just I put it on like this. I I put that part on, and then do that, and then no issues. So yeah, it. Uh, it works just fine. And I got everything all set up. Here's the, uh, here's the controllers that you use for it. Um, so this, this is what I was debating on. Whether or not I wanted to get the new, um, the Vive or, or the, uh, the Valve, Valve Index controllers. So these are, these are the kind that you just hold like this. So you have a, a trigger here. You have two squeeze buttons on the side that you're supposed to just squeeze like that. Uh, there is a touchpad that functions as like a laptop touchpad. You can press in on it, so it, it acts like a physical button. There's a menu button up here and a like system menu button down here, and then that's it. Uh, whereas the uh, the new Valve controllers, um, there's actually a strap that holds holds it attached to your hand. So it's like this, and then there's a strap that goes across your knuckles and attaches to the bottom. So you could actually hold, you don't even have to hold the controller, it is it is strapped to your hands. So it actually does finger tracking, and it knows how close your fingers are to the controller. And apparently the Half-Life Alex makes use of that, um, that functionality. Uh, but we'll see. I have until Monday-ish to decide whether or not I want to get those, because they're, um, they're only going to be in stock for probably minutes on Monday because of supply shortages. Understandable supply shortages given the, the current global climate. Um, 
And yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I'll, I'll still be able to play Half-Life Alex with those controllers. It just won't be quite the same experience. Uh, but I don't know. I, I'm still up in the air on that. Okay, let's uh, let's get going then, shall we? Half-Life. PC, 1998 first-person shooter, developed by Valve, published by Ken Williams himself. He personally put this one in stores. Sierra Online. This is officially a Sierra game. Uh, part one. And let's see, my prior experience with this series and this game. So this game, I got when it came out. Uh, I would have been... Jeez. 13 or 14 at the time it came out. Um, so I was still relatively new to first-person shooters, but to be honest, a lot of people were. So 1998 was kind of the weird, the weird point in, um, in game design where, uh, first-person games were kind of transitioning from the Doom style where you're just, you're, you don't have up and down movement really. Like there's, there was some stuff like Quake and and Duke Nukem 3D and stuff that aimed up and down, but still for the most part, you could get away with playing games with just like the, the arrow keys on your keyboard. Um, or using the, the mouse looking to just turn side to side and not look up and down. Um, so this was still kind of early days, uh, for me at least, for um, getting used to like proper 3D, um, full 360 environments. Uh, and with that said, I did play through this game when it came out, but I played it on easy, and I cheated like... I cheated for the whole game, essentially. I had god mode on, I was skipping levels with the console commands, like... I... Uh, you can't even say that I beat this game, because I, I practically did not. Um, I saw a lot of the game. Um, but it has been that long since I have, I have played through this game, uh, so I've forgotten pretty much everything that goes on in it. Uh, let's see, Half-Life 2, I played through all the way. I think I played that on easy as well. Um, and legitimately, I guess. But that also kind of doesn't count, and I also forgot what happened in that one. Um, I did not play any of the expansion packs for one, so I didn't play Opposing Force, I didn't play Blue Shift. Uh, the most I know about those is reviews from, like, PC Gamer Magazine back in the day. Uh, I did not play, um, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 or Episode 2. I played through a few minutes of Portal 1. Uh, I have Portal 1, I only played a few minutes of that. Portal 2, I played through all the way. And then... I believe that's it for the, the for the ones of note here. Uh, not counting the weird, like, side-scroller game. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do Lost Coast, because that's a tech demo, but... Uh, sure, it, it's like 10 minutes long, so maybe we could fit it in somewhere. Uh, and then Half-Life Alex comes out on the 23rd. So today's the 7th, um, and I want to get done with the, the series playthrough before, uh, that one comes out. So yeah, that's, uh, that'll be the plan there. So here's the original retail box that this one came in. So naturally all this is distributed on Steam nowadays, um, but this, this predates Steam. So Steam essentially launched with uh, Half-Life 2, and then Counter-Strike 1.6, but that was, that was far after this. So, this game, when it first came out, was still a retail box on a shelf. Uh, so this is the kind of box that, um, that actually had a flap on the inside, on the front cover, that had this, this cool art and stuff on the front. Alright, according to PC Gamer, the first and foremost must buy title of the season. So, PC Gamer, I treated pretty much everything that they said as gospel back in the day. Um... So if, if a game was highly recommended from them, I was pretty much guaranteed to get it. And that's, this is the reason why I got Half-Life. <laughs> Cause they, uh, they were singing the praises of this one, uh, back when it came out. So M for Mature, and of course, Ken Williams got to get paid here. And I'm, I'm sure he did for, uh, for this one. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the two halves of, uh, the fold-out, um, Pulled out thing underneath the cover here. All right, they're not just chasing you, they're hunting you. Just another day at the office, or so you thought, until your experiment blew up in your face. Now with aliens coming through the walls, a military death squad killing everything in sight, and your colleagues in bits and pieces, you're scrambling to stay alive. Where should you go? Who can you trust? And can you figure it all out before they scrape you into a body bag? All right. 
enemy teamwork. It isn't your imagination. These guys are working together. They'll lay down cover fire, flank you, and use grenades to flush you out. Sure. And I, I think I do remember that this was one of the first games where it actually felt like the the enemy AI was sort of making an effort to to not just stand in one place and and wait for them wait for you to go kill them. I remember in this one that the the AI was certainly a step up from other ones. Um, though I guess we'll see. Uh, extraordinary realism. Monsters had the most fluid and intricate motion ever seen in an action game thanks to Half Life's skeletal animation system. So yeah. Um, prior to this, most games just had like. Uh, they had the whole model of polygons, and they would individually animate all those, and it, it looked pretty stilted. Uh, for this game, they have a, a skeleton inside of the inside of each part that can animate separately, and um, they move the skeleton bones in order to do animations. Uh, and it ended up making animations easier to do and look a little bit better. Uh, so this is one of the earlier games that uh, that had skeletal animations. Uh, it also allowed for things like additive animations, where you could mix, say, like, a walking animation with a, like, l l point gun up animation. Um, prior to skeletal stuff, you would have to make a custom animation for, like, walk forward with gun, um, another one for walk forward with gun lowered, another one for gun up plus walking. Uh, with this, you could just make a, a walking animation, a gun up animation, and then blend the two together. Uh, so that was another another cool thing that this tech allowed. Um, okay, scripted sequences. This interrogation is getting out of hand. You can watch the scientist die or come to his aid. He may return the favor later on. I I don't I don't remember this coming into play much. <laughs> sure. Yeah, this uh, this blurb up here. Yeah, these are all the the status ones. Um, uh, I don't remember that, the one on the far end there being a thing, but this is the, hey, you're drowning thing. This is, you're on fire. Uh, this is radioactive goop. Um, I don't remember this being a thing or that one, but yeah, those are, those are totally in-game hazard markers. All right. And of course, this being a 90s FPS game. They give you a level editor, just built into the game. Worldcraft 2.0, create your own custom Half-Life levels with Worldcraft 2.0, the most popular level editor available. So this this was modified Quake Engine, I wanna say. Um, or modified Quake 2, I think, is what this is? Either Quake or Quake 2. Um, so yeah, I, I suppose Worldcraft is probably the, the Quake visual level editor, I guess? Hey, Hidden. All right, so we got some more art here. There is Mr. Half-Life right there. With some, some head crabs. And then new to action games, yep. Use the training room to build your skills, and multiplayer games are just a click away with Half-Life's easy-to-use interface. Yeah, modify it. Quake 1 or Quake 2, though? All right. Best action game, sure. Tour de Force. Unified Gamers Online. UGO.net. I wonder if that site is even around anymore. <laughs> All right, sophisticated AI. Enemy behavior is uncomfortably realistic. Many creatures not only see and hear you, but they track you by your scent. I'm not. I'm not sure about that one. I. Uh, I think they just remember where you are. I suppose. I. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh. Okay. This is all blurry, but. If you thought all action games are the same, think again. Half-Life's intricate and venal bunch of challenges. Which storyline and frightening intelligent adversaries add up to a new level of challenge? One that demands you use your weapons and your wits. Monsters don't walk blindly into gunfire. They're cunning as hell, and they want to live as badly as you do. Friendly characters aren't cannon fodder. Uh, I don't know about that. They're critical to your success. Add 16-bit color, machines you control, and realistic sound effects, and you've got a game that is so alive, so intelligent, so real, you'll swear it has a pulse. All right. Advanced graphic engine, 16-bit rendering for 65,000 colors with 24-bit support for 3D graphics cards means your opponents are as lifelike as they are deadly. So this was, uh, I believe you could do this in software rendering as well. So yeah, this this was still kind of the, the early-ish days for 3D acceleration as well. 
Um, so naturally you have stuff like this where there's the there's the 3D effects and there's the ATI Rage 128. Um, and I'm sure there is there was other cards that supported. Um, so Half-Life supports a variety of 3D cards, but one is not required. You're definitely gonna want one though. <laughs> You're definitely gonna want one. Uh, let's see. All right, 32 person internet multiplayer. Take on up to 31 human opponents on popular multiplayer sites, including www.won.net, TM, or through services such as GameSpy, or set up your own server. Sure. Yeah, I know I, I'm a bit of a ghost. That's that's because my shirt is teal. Um, so don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Challenging obstacles. Big guns can't save you when you're... Facing a maze of conveyor belts or intersecting train tracks, you'll need ingenuity, dexterity, and determination to successfully navigate through Half-Life's unique environments. Sure. Uh, this also supported multiple 3D audio things. So uh, Creative had their uh, in EAX, is I believe what this was. And then this is All Reels A3D uh, 3D audio. Because uh, not only was 3D graphics starting to become a thing, so was better fidelity audio and better like acceleration of um, of things in the 3D space. So that was all coming around. Hey, Toaster. All right. Uh, Sierra Online in all caps. Sure. All right. So here's what the uh, the disc that the game came on. Uh, this is a one CD game. Uh, and it's a pretty small download on Steam. I think it was like, it was 800 megabytes, I think, was how big the um, the download was. So sure. And this is what the uh, the selectable game cover slash artwork is on uh, on Steam right now. So this, this is what we get instead of cool game boxes nowadays, but sure. Sure. There it is. Okay. Let's get to it. All right. Uh, so we're gonna do 16 by nine for this one. Okay. All righty. Yep. All right, mouse. Okay, so. Uh, we're gonna be doing all of the Half-Lifes eventually. So I got Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, Lost Coast, Blue Shift, Opposing Force. Um, not going to be doing Black Mesa, because um, I know that uh, just came out. I thought that was free, and apparently it's not, so rip. I was looking forward to that one, too. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. We're going to be doing the original version, but it's going to be in widescreen and with the HD models from Blue Shift turned off, because that that is Half-Life for me is uh not these dumb blue shift models okay all right so i'm going to be playing this in 120 hertz uh my monitor my tv is set to 120 but for whatever reason the game reads it as 100 so sure fine all right looks like audio is good here so let's do it yeah, I believe Black Mesa was free before it that yeah, it got finished. And now it's like now it's 30 bucks, I want to say. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of a hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, right. and I will appear to demonstrate certain... Welcome to the HEV Mark 4 Protect Mode. Oh, I should also mention... For use in hazardous environment conditions. That here is how I'm going to be playing this. Uh, right here. So I got a half keyboard right here. I'm going to be using this for keyboard controls. And then a wireless mouse with uh, 2.4 gigahertz. The the dongle for it is right there. Um, and if I need to, I can plug it in through USB and and get that. And that's hooked up through a wire to my gaming PC here. Uh, this has a eight-core recent Intel chip in it, and it's got a 
uh, a NVIDIA 2070 Super. So it, it's not like processing power is going to matter at all for this game, but sure, we got that. And then I'm playing this on a 55-inch OLED set to 120 hertz mode. All right. And with that, let's, uh, let's get her done here. Yep, she still doesn't finish talking. Uh... Am I... Am I softlocked? Oh. <laughs> Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself. Are there, uh, are there captions here? I doubt it for something like this. That's that lock. Okay. Alright, so we have VSync on, uh, HD models turned off, and everything else, I believe we're good. I will need to rebind the, uh, the save button. So let's, uh, let's do that. And then, how about that? Because I, I do not have anything higher than F4 on this, uh, on this thing. The first move we will practice is... Good work. Those two suits can be tricky. We need to proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of ops. Alright. Duck percent. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Yep. Now hey, at least there's a tutorial. Yeah, this technically looks the same as the original release. You will have to um, signal your suit to make a duck jump. Uh, the original release did not have uh, white screen, nice though. Job. I guess I'm pretty sure it didn't. Alright, this sound. I remember this sound. Like, I'm so glad when games got rid of this dumb reverb on everything. But it, it took many years for them to stop doing this. Walk directly into the Like, hey, you're in this. Look up and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. Okay, so we, we meet our first boss in the game here. So ladders. Okay, so hitting W will go up. And if you look down, you'll also go down. So it's getting off ladders. So you can crouch on ladders, and if you just hit jump, you'll jump straight off. I don't believe you can jump straight down, though. Yeah, you can You can only do that. You can't just, like, let go. Uh, like, you can go sideways off of it. Okay. That software render, I, we, uh, I don't believe we can switch during this, but yeah, software. The next three jumps are hard. Doesn't look very good. Great work. Now there's one more style of Long jumping that requires its own charging module. See in here. All right. Nice you gotta hold job. down control and then hit jump while you're holding it down. I remember doing this many, many times back in the day. Please start the lift. Because uh. Now that you're out here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below, and do your best to hit it. Alright, so this... 78, and if we go directly onto that... It's also 78. Okay. So it looks like landing on a box doesn't break your fall? Uh... I need to turn down the... Uh... Turn down this... A little bit. Let's, uh, let's do that. Actually, I can turn it down in here. Let's do this. All right. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, automatic crouch and press your use key. Automatic your crouch jumping? Come on. Until you are at no way. Health, or the kit is depleted. That's like Once the light half the skill out, this game. Med kit cannot be reused. All right. 
All right, good. My keyboard isn't being picked up by the, the microphone here. That's another reason why I use this uh, this kind of headset mic, by the way, is that I can use a nice, loud, cherry blue keyboard, and you don't have to listen to it. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your seat. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try... Oh, you gotta hold down. To pull e. the box, oh, jeez, that's right. Press your use key okay. While holding down the use key to keep a grip so it, it definitely didn't do that the in the original game. The box will come along with you. Like, I, I think it's because the modern CPUs calculate that physics too fast. Yeah, we're cockroaches. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. All right. Don't need the flashlight. I have an OLED. But you're you're intended to do this. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa Target Range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Okay. Please pick up your weapon and advance to... Yep, You'll very dark. you hit every target in order to complete the course. But if okay, you attack two is weapon and assault and ammo. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses, rather than waiting to run out Real life flashlights? Well, it's... Time. I'm assuming they're all like this. Launcher, like I have this little keychain button. flashlight. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. <laughs> I assume it's as, as good as this one. Commencing sequence in five, four, three, two, one. Nope. And this is here. And this one's here. Well, oh, it's it's a single LED. For this uh this keychain flashlight, and it's got a, a CR twenty thirty two in it. So, yeah, so far it's lasted for quite a while. You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads up display. All right, and this amazing water is totally... This is what water looks like, right? This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment. When you are running low on So there's the fire, there's explosion. Activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Not the worst water in a 90s game? You've seen something worse? Please advance to the next area. Alright. So yeah, this this game looks a lot different. Lead a security guard into sure. the next room you. on a widescreen, good monitor. Access denied. Because I remember when I played this, this is on a like, a maybe 14 or 15 inch CRT, CRT monitor that was like dim as hell. Press your use key. And it ran at 60 hertz, like, like a bad 60 hertz. All right, we did it. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Okay. All right. I don't want this to take forever, so we're going to do this on medium. Good medium. morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. 
The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. What's my GPU at right now? Okay, we're using 2% of my GPU for this. Inbound <laughs> from level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to Man. return to the central transit hub. This is the coolest thing back when this came out. And board a high security train. Other games just didn't do this. Your like they just threw you right into right into the action. You, you didn't like this intro? I liked it. Well, I I can see why you get get real old if you're playing this over and over again. Of the transit system. Two percent is too much. The high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating. Or drinking our well, it looks like two of my CPU cores are at about 50% right now. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Yeah, like the Skyrim intro. Yeah, that one is is very much too long. The train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated. But yeah, this is uh this whole sequence is a cool intro for like, hey, here's all the stuff you're gonna see in the game, and they just show it all to you in the first, well, most of it. They show you most of it Please in this intro. From electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Yeah, it's cool the first few times, and, and, and that's my point. It's like, uh, this is this is a great way to get the player invested in this game right from the get-go. Especially for, uh, like, playing this in 1998 or 99. And the, and the whole sequence after this. Am I going to do Half-Life Alex? Yep, I am. Uh, I have a... I have a method to stream VR stuff, and I have a VR setup, so, a yep. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high security course will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance. I always thought this was the coolest thing in the in the intro. This loader robot. It'd be cool if there was like if you could drive one of these or do something with one of these in the game, but I don't remember that being a thing. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation nope. checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Yeah, more forklifts. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. The, the tram thing and the rail sequence later on might as well be a forklift. Control facilities. Yeah, just this giant radioactive. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. So they th before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. They Hi, Mr. Freeman, looks like you're running late. 
They changed the uh, the location of the speaker in here. The speaker was like right here during the intro, and then suddenly it's back there. Maybe it's supposed to be coming from from over there. All right, look at that skeletal animation at work with dynamic look at things. All right, and everybody's got clenched fists in this game because Quake Engine. Hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. All right. Yep, the Muppet Hands. Hey, Aperture. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay. But first. My God, hey, stop what that. are you doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? Perfect. All right. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Okay. The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. This guy's haircut always, always bothered me, by the way. Please, leave me alone and don't have to be experiment. How'd this guy get over here? Alright. Get the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. All right. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Uh. Greetings. Oh man, got this this laptop. I think we should delay for another recalibration. Wait, that this part's too Absolutely. too tall. How does this even... Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Sure. Did you submit your status report to the administrator today? My God, what are you doing? All right. Hey. Hello. That's odd. You'll just have to wait until Please, after the leave test. me alone until after the experiment. All right, working vending machines. Ah, it's good to see you. Get ready. Get ready for some tunes. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. I must remember to report that situation. Didn't you just pass me? Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Break eight. Alright, these long load times. Safety report. Status 
Yeah, I I like this kind of game more than more than Doom. Like Doom Doom I classify as more an arcade type first person shooter. Uh and then this one's more of a narrative first person shooter, and I tend to prefer those. I wonder if I should run that. And I classify something like the, the Duke Nukem games as being more arcade and Unreal being more uh, narrative. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. I like how the whole model lights up. Is very concerned that we get it's not a spotlight anymore. Today's <laughs> I gather they went to some length to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Oh, you can you can do custom uh, custom computer voice nine. with the uh, console. I didn't know that. This is all within theoretical limits. Sure, this seems okay. safe. It's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? wasn't meant to do this in the first place. So apparently in, in Black Mesa, uh, these two scientists are replaced with Dr. Kleiner, and this is Dr. Eli, uh, which we will we will see in Half-Life 2. Because uh, apparently both those scientists are present in this facility. But we don't officially meet them until the second game. I think they'd be making a, big, a bigger deal about an, an explosion. Alright, test lab C33A. It worked on multiplayer servers? Oh, jeez. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. This guy in particular speaks like a Muppet. Yeah, like, I, uh, what's wrong with his jaw? <laughs> All right. Great, we get the, the cool reverb going on. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. The anti-mass spectrometer. Sure. Need to get in there to push the thing? Well, Gordon Freeman canonically has a degree in uh, grocery shark. Grocery cart pushing. You'll take it from here. Not sharding. Stage one in three, two, from from the University of Washington, I think. That is actual canon. So naturally, they need an expert to handle things. Gordon, we 
Is it MIT? I thought it was. I thought it was a, a Seattle University. All right. This seems safe. Oh, it is MIT. Interesting. Well, All right. No, it's well within Canon. Sustaining sequence. The important lore. Oh, he's from. Okay, there we go. I was still wrong, but I was I was right about something else. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This cool robo cart thing. All right. Save the game here. So what happens if we? So you an insertion for a non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. Okay, so it does kill you. We're at 99 health already still. Sure. Sure, fine. Oh, standard insertion into this. for a non-standard specimen. Go okay. Ahead, Gordon. Slump the carrier into there. Slump the carrier into there. That's, that's the technical term. Gordon! Get away from the beat. Shutting down. No. Attempted shutdown. Uh. It's not. It's not. It's not shutting down. It's, it's not. Uh. Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh shit! This is this. Is, is there always supposed to be a, a Vortigaunt there? I don't remember that. Uh. Teleports out. Hey, show. Oh, it's a bo great. God, this bodes well then. All right. So these these things going to be a problem later on. Access denied. Uh... Why didn't they listen? We tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Okay. Yes, let's go. Sure. Alright. Let's... A failure of this magnitude is extremely improbable. Alright, you'll be safe here, along with those. So that that is apparently uh Eli. Okay, this seems safe.
Okay. Perfect. Uh oh. Fantastic. Okay. Nine health. No problem. <sighs> All right. Seems like a good place to save. All right, there's no... I don't think there's any medkits down there. Well, let's... Let's see. Nope. Just... Oh, there is energy here, though. along, Barney. <sighs> oh, it's because of the high frame rate? Yeah. That might be it. I don't really want to turn it down to 60 FPS, but actual Barney, I think so? Alright, Barney, get him. Barney! What the fuck, man? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, the model name for the... Okay, we got one HP from that. Nice. Sure. Okay. Alright. Erica. And then I think here? If you open this one? I could have sworn that there were mul there were multiple lockers that you could open. Birdwell, Jones. Easley, Johnson, Freeman. Okay. So the one with the the obviously different geometry on it. Sir, I hate to say it, but you're in bad shape. Huh. Yeah, free soda. Like, everything else is going to hell, but... Free soda. Alright. Okay, Barney. You and me... You, me, and this crowbar. Barney's at once. Oh, man. Yeah, it's kind of weird that, uh, there's only one security guard bottle. But there's multiple scientists, uh, models. 
Hello, Valor Pistol YouTube. I am furry underscore furry YouTube. Barney light. Oh, okay. Have some chat. All right, so this is the original gun model. Um, can't remember if you can switch this. Oh, great. Yeah, it restarts again. Okay, so here's the here's the HD model for the gun, and come on. Lame. Why would you ever you? Oh, also, also Barney looks looks like that. Like, come on. This is why I turn I turn that shit off. Is that is that is not Half Life. See this now. This is Barney, and that's a pistol. Okay. All right. So this is how the uh, the inventory works. Like you have to. You can press multiple times on the number key to to bring up the, the different things there, and you have to to left click to select uh, select the weapon. Probably use this one here. Some die in three hits. Huh. I remember those being slightly tougher than that. What the hell? What? What was the aiming reticle doing there? It's it's skipping around. What the? Is whoa? Is there? Is there auto aim? What? Is this auto aim? What? Dude, what? Why would you? <laughs> Why? What the hell? Let's go. Nope. All right. Sure. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Have I been that much of a burden? Yes. Yes. Come over here. So if we're able to bring the scientist over there. Fine. You won't even know I'm here. Yeah. So it sounds like the, the actual critical path was down on that first floor. Those people in the Lambda Lab can get this under control. Sure. Yo. All right. Okay, so grenades are on five. Yeah. Who is responsible for this mess? <laughs> oh my. Got him. Okay. My uh my flashlight was stuck at the, the zero zero energy. Uh 
Oh. Do they always go down in two hits? I... I seem to recall they... Like, I'm, I'm still on medium, right? Oh. oh. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. Nope. I thought that was a Barney. I'm on medium, last I, last I saw. Pretty sure I selected medium. Yeah, or it's, or it's a headshot, I guess. Yeah, I guess... I guess with the being able to look and aim up and down... ...with games from 98... Like, headshots actually became a thing. to use WASD. Uh, that might have been... That might have been Sin. Or, uh... Or Chasm, perhaps? I seem to recall there being supplies inside crates. Like some crates. That that was just filled with with bags it looks like. <laughs> Quick 2 they made it standard. Yeah. Got no scope there. By whatever that is. Okay, looks like we're supposed to go this way. So I could drop down there, but. Brings me here, anyways. Yeah. Oh. oh, man.
Got him. Whoa, jeez. Okay. All right. Does does this game do the thing that you can do in two? Where? Uh... Okay. So you can't do. You can't do that with the. With those things. Yeah. All right. Found a ladder boss here. Okay. All right, so these things are barnacles, I want to say. And here's what happens if you if you do this. You get caught in the tongue. And then it eats you. <laughs> okay. So you can get out of that if it uh, if it gets you by just looking up and shooting it. But obviously you want to avoid that. Okay, so that's probably bad news. If I get in there. Oh, I'm probably supposed to push, uh, push crates in there and jump across. <laughs> Great. Nailed it. Oh, or I could just do this? Okay, this works too. You can just strafe run up that that incline. Hmm? Oh, is there somebody here? Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Great. Ladders. Okay, place your bets on how many deaths this playthrough is going to have. I'm going to guess... Thirty-five. Thirty-five deaths. Sticking to it. Thirty-five deaths. Half-Life 1... <laughs> thirty-five. Thirty-five deaths. <clears throat> Okay. Maybe I... Let's, let's do this. Let's just... Oh. Medium difficulty, half-life... Oh, jeez. Alright. The, the difficulty setting does not modify how hard gravity hits you. <laughs> yeah, alright. We, we made it past that boss there, so we're good. Gonna be deathless playthrough from here on out. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay, so we're on the other side of this the broken bridge. A hundred deaths. 42, 80. Alright. Everybody guessing higher than me, huh? Okay. 32, 20, okay. YouTube chat, slightly more optimistic. Got him. 
Got him. Oh. A 69, nice. That, that's always... That's always the, the ideal goal here. Okay. Uh... What, what even benefit is there to going here? It's, this is just for a clip. Or two clips. But I want them. I want that clip. Okay. <laughs> okay, we don't need that. <laughs> Apparently there's a, a much larger hurt box on that thing than, than it appears. You're welcome. Nice. This, yep. Perfect. This right there. Did you hear something? Gordon, if I'd known it was you, I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Sure. All right, danger high voltage in the break room for some reason. All right, I'm probably gonna need one of those two scientists for opening a door. Okay, so live wires plus water equals don't walk in that. As as he walks in that. Okay. Turn off the faucet. Okay. I can't break that, I guess. Yep, Dr. Gay Ben. Actually, maybe if I hit the light switch, I can get the electricity to turn off. Okay. All right. Did it. Dude, come. Jump scares, man. Oh, God. Oop. All right. Get wrecked. All right. This seems safe. Storage. Okay, this is where I came from. We haven't been to storage yet. Oh. Oh, you can see the skull imprint through it. I never noticed that. You can see the skull imprint through the... The texture. I... Okay. Guess we're not going in there. There's gotta be, like, a, a head crab behind these bot. Yep. 
I didn't break that box. Something did. Okay. Alright, we have a better box breaking solution. Is optimi Ooh, what's that stench? <laughs> Tony optimistic? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Alright, so Q is the, the the quick weapon swap key. And there's like like no cooldown on that. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can get up there. Can't get through here. So I don't think I can get up there. Okay. Alright, sh shotgun's on three. Suddenly there's extra ammo on there. Sure. Well, you never know. With I might be able to clear this with less than 20 deaths. It is entirely possible. I probably have to go up there. Oh, can I not? Alright, the corpses block the... Just gotta move the, gotta move the big box. have to make a run for it, I guess. Got one. Got him. Okay, I'll cover you. Man, bring it on. Keep shooting me in the back. You are from the Anomalous Materials Lab. Yes, I recognize you. Wouldn't you like to get one of these blood samples under a microscope? Uh. Awesome wood green monitor. Look at that thing. Okay.
All right, so left click fires once, and right click fires two shots at once. With the shotgun. All right, canonically, this game is in December, I guess. This is... Right. And holding down right click with the, the pistol does rapid fire. Okay. this with all my parts that that sounds like something new Always miss one. All right, I'm assuming that that door is locked. Yep. Okay. brewed sure and then of course the valve valve brand uh oh okay we get ice physics in here oh no that's the door closing on me <laughs> This is where we started. Of course. 
so you're probably supposed to... <laughs> not do that. What the hell? Uh... Oh, maybe this. <laughs> maybe that. Okay. It was a good, a good thought. Reverb sound effect again. Okay. So what does this accomplish? Oh. Okay. Amazing flashlight. Not helping things. Hey, Gator. Will Half-Life run today? Uh, possibly? I'm doing nothing but Half-Life tonight, so... Maybe? I, f I don't know how long this game is. Well, don't count it, on the it's been too long. Down here. Head for the surface. Elevators are out of order, but we can still climb. I haven't played this since, like, 1999, so I, f I forget how long this game is, but we'll see. But that said, the, um, the daylight savings thing is tonight, or overnight. It'll happen in a few hours for, uh, for my time zone, so we're going to lose an hour of stream time. Unless I just go an extra hour, which I, I probably will anyways. I got to make up for, for yesterday's shit show. All right, there's that guy again. Yep, that's tonight. You get to lose an hour of sleep. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. That's how you make an entrance. Of these doors that don't have any handles. Like are they are these weird sliding doors or something? Cause yeah, the other side doesn't have a handle either. <laughs> How are you Black Mesa, not very good at doors. Okay. This looks like a prime opportunity for I'm gonna need that ladder. And I don't want to fall on me. Right, it's probably invincible. I, I can't hold on much longer. All right. Your ladder, I guess. Almost disaster. Cut. All right, where are we going? Old video game ladders. This is the hardest. 
hardest thing. Okay. New chapter. And that sounds like... Yeah. Okay. For God's sake, open the silo door! They're coming for us! It's our only way out! Oh my God, we're doomed! Oh! oh. Well, I guess I'm... This is my life now. Okay, so these... I remember these did something. And I don't think I can... Oh! Again. This is all right. So this is our primary number three gun. Okay. These are turrets, I guess. Sure. All right. I'm not sure what the point of closing the fire doors is, so I'll just. I'll leave them be for now. I guess it's to keep that from happening. And then these things are... Pro proximity mines. That I think I can disarm and take myself? No? Okay. HP here. Those explode if I shoot them. And that is... Another turret. So if I can keep the turret from. Alright. Alright, there's multiple. Okay, we'll just uh do this. So the so the grenade physics in this game aren't great. The crates with things on them have. Ah, okay. So they they don't always. I wonder if those are um, if those are random. Yeah, another. Game and it's jump scares. Good lord. Okay. 
die. So... Alright, any more? like it might be electrified. Probably bad news. Yeah. All right. So those are. Oh. <laughs> nice briefcase animation. sure if you hear radios that means the the military guys are gonna be nearby That is... <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Like, what's this slow motion thing? That is a very slow moving grenade coming towards me. Yep, I noticed, I realized what that was at like the last second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, don't leave us mess with those for now.
Luckily they give you plenty of time to deal with grenades. Perfect. Oh, that closed the blast door there. Okay. Maybe I can go down there and go past it. Oh, this is... Okay, that just brings me back there. Alright, so rip whatever's on the other side of that, that door. Uh... How do I get over there, then? I have to write up this up to that. Hmm. It's not that. Okay. Alright, first person shooter jumping puzzles. Because I can't take the... take this thing past there. And it didn't look like there was any sort of... thing past here. It was just this guy, and then these things. Hey, Drew. Uh, and I don't think I can turn off this. Maybe if I hit the button again, it will... Ah. Got it. I thought those were just closed forever. Okay, there's a dude up there. Shoot him in the leg for a bit. Alright. Perfect. Yes, draw their fire for me. I'm with the science team! Got him. Uh oh. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now I just need to not fall into the same trap. Oh, those use the same ammo. I never noticed. Okay, well. I guess that makes it a submachine gun then. I don't think a lot of games really do that much nowadays. Have uh, guns share ammo. Like, maybe with energy weapons and sci-fi games. But besides that... Thank <laughs> you. 
No, I have I have grenades too. Everybody gets a grenade. I'm going full Oprah with them here. So I don't know if your your spread changes if you uh, do short bursts. But I'm pretty sure that spray and pray is not what you want to do in this game. Okay. Alright, surface access. Finally making our way out. Surely we'll be safe now. Hey, that, that AI wasn't bad. Like, if this was any game from earlier than, than this one, those guys just would have stood there for the entirety of the time. Suddenly, suddenly Matrix soundtrack. Even though this predates the Matrix. Oh, the grunt running in the barnacle. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that. That might be. Um, that might be scripted. They are in that one. I'm doing just fine tonight, Drew. How are you? Hopefully you're doing well. I suppose I could throw a grenade over there, but that would be too easy. We're guessing total deaths, yeah. Like, my guess is is 35 deaths is what I'm locked in at. 35 deaths. We're currently at, what, 8? No problem. Easy. We're practically done with the game. This is like the final boss right here. Snow forecast. Yeah, it's uh, it rained here last night up at the Bay Area on the central coast. I guess is where I am. Technically. Oh shit! And that's why the power went out briefly last night because it was the first proper rain we've had in a while. How it, how it do sometimes. 15 degrees in an hour? Nice. Yeah, the problem with my area is that uh, 
Um, it's just windy all the time. Like, you, you just can't escape the wind around here. Ooh, that's an electric fence. Alright, I suppose you're probably just supposed to go right here and skip all that. in eight minutes. Nice. Everybody gets A's. Okay. Alright, so even though I lost a lot of ammo there, we'll, we'll just deal with it, I guess. Sure. So I'm pretty sure that debris doesn't, um, doesn't hurt you in this game. in common weather, well, just remember that it took the the best internet company in my area four months to get my internet hooked up and to run an extra, like, one foot of cable. Four months. But you never know. All right, this is probably... I'm assuming these guys are just going to keep spawning. Looks like I'm going down rather than up. Oh, geez. Okay, not going in there. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> then A, A pluses for everybody. Uh, all right. I don't like the look of this room. Hey, that just seems we're probably eventually going to have to go there, but it can wait, I guess. Yeah, I think this is over that storage room we were in before with the... Oh. Yeah, it was. Okay, this is on the other side of that thing. Yeah. Huh? So we're not going in there. <laughs> Doesn't even give you a hit sound. Okay. Yep. Oh, this might be where that security office was. Yep, the real... The, the ladders are just the sub-boss. And then it's the, the ominous slow fans. That's the point of this room. Okay. Assume I can't go through there. Can't open that. Okay. Probably just a bonus area, I suppose. Sure. Man, my my finger is starting to get a little sore holding down control for a lot of this game. I've heard you twelve dumbass scientists and not one of them fought back. This sucks. Attention, all military. Yeah, 
grenades. Throw. Nice. Yep. Keep throwing grenades. There's that high quality. Oh. That high quality AI. Like the back of the box set. Alright, where'd that guy go? Oh, this is... This is over here. What the hell's the point of this? Oh. Can we go up here? No. This is... Okay, this is just ammo and that's it? Ammo and... And lore? Sure. Scared him. He just dropped a grenade. Okay. Still not sure where I'm supposed to go here. Uh. Okay, that's where we came from. That's the way to the the ammo clip. This is the way to that that room. Bad sound. Okay, this is a dead end. This went down to the, the little side room that I couldn't open the doors in. Man, he's just dumping grenades. Okay, this... Maybe you're supposed to to break one of these. Oh. Probably supposed to. No. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a grenade having a bad time in some level geometry. It sounds like. Like, it, it looks like you should be able to get on top of this. But this... This doesn't seem intended. Like, get on top of this and then go along there and drop down into this room. Even though it looks like I've been in this room before. Probably supposed to break through one of the one of the grates below me though, so it's not these. Because those were indestructible. Emergency uranium containment D to sector D. Okay, where did that? Assuming these are Yeah. There oh it it it's probably this. <laughs> it's probably this, alright. All right, get ready to get insta gib. And yes, it's gib, not jib. Uh, okay. This? Yeah, okay. And then... <laughs> oh, God. The puns. All right, so there's something down there, but if I drop down there, then I have to go past that to get back. So, whatever's in there, probably not worth it. Yeah. Oh, this is just... All right, so I do have to go there.
Yeah, the sounds of Half-Life 1, it's, it's mostly the explosion sound that I associate with this game. More than anything, and like the, the sound of enemies warping in. Because I'm pretty sure they, uh, they reused at least some of those sounds for, um, for the later games. There are two levels of things here. Wait a second. Uh. Okay. Wasn't supposed to go here, apparently. Oh, we're back. Okay. So much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Judging from your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team in the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here, beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test labs, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Good luck. Okay. Sure. Seems safe. Blast pit. Yeah. All right. Fine. Do this the quick way. Did it despawn my grenade? What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Sure. That's. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it respawned it through the load zone. Nice. Okay. Alright, so we got another one of these weird elevators. There's another, another one of those. So far, the actual enemies in this game, not really a threat, it's the environmental hazards so far have been far and away the most difficult thing to deal with. All right. I'm pretty sure you can run these over with the, yeah.
Okay. And then here you're supposed to... Jeez. But... Uh... Okay. Yep, yeah. yep, this platform game. I'm pretty sure you can... I think I remember the speed run, like you, you launch off of that onto here, and then you run up there. That's how, how it's done fast. So I remember, um, uh, Cool Kid used to speed run this when I, or I watched him speed run it years ago. And that was, that was some of the tech. And I think, like, isn't the run for this, like, half an hour or something? Because I remember there was some, some single segments, like, like the, the Half-Life community did a, uh, a segmented, but real-time run of it that wasn't, like, a, a TAS or anything. They got it down to some, some super low time through collaborative effort. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Perfect. Nailed it. Oh, is it 21 minutes? Nice. Yeah, this game's got some weird, weird ice, ice skating going on with the controls. Not full on. Ice physics, but it's pretty close. Okay. I like how the um, the sound like visibly changes. I get it's kind of a hard transition here, but I do like that. That is a touch that they they put in stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure that was present in the original game too. Which would have been very unique for 98. And like a lot of the the PS Explosion games are from 98. I kind of consider 98 as like the second generation of PS1 games. And this looks so far and away better than anything in 98 PS Explosion. Like, the, the difference between PC games and console games back then was pretty crazy. It's... It's a narrower gap nowadays. But that wasn't always the case. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, so Creative, Environmental Audio, aka EAX, and then All Real A3D were the, the two things, and they also advertised 3D effects and Rage 128, and there's also a software renderer for, uh, for the graphics. Okay, that's, uh, that's a Zambie. Yeah, kind of like, uh, PS2, um, when, like, before, what the hell? Okay, I thought that was dead. Like, for, for early 2000s, is, uh, when it was either you either had a console game or a PC game, and almost never had it on both. And then when the Xbox came around, because that shared a lot of stuff with, uh, with Windows development, then you started getting cross-platform things. 
Oh, jeez. I remember this. <laughs> oh, the test. Ten minutes. Nice. Destroy the damned thing before it grows any larger. Okay. Alright, who's ready to listen to this for... Ah! Ooh. No! 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 Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> nice. Alright, so there's this rocket engine up there. So it looks like we gotta turn on fuel, oxygen, and power before we can do that. So it looks like this is a fourth forced stealth area. Might as well. Seriously. Stop booping me. Hey. Probably be using the shotgun ammo. Uh, those are vorticons, I think. Yeah. yeah, they're um uh uh Barney. Barney actually says, like, hey, you have to be quiet or else they'll hear you. So that's that's how you're supposed to figure out that it's uh It's an audio audio thing for uh for those. And then they give you the the, the big stack of grenades is the other <laughs> the other kind of giveaway. There's probably a switch I gotta hit for this. Oh, or you just I think I wasn't on that one. Alright, we got another boss here. Okay. Okay. Uh.
Why is this... Why is this suddenly not... going to be back in the silo now. Or a different silo? Yep, a good old right click. So yeah, the, uh, the skull imprint on these. I never noticed that. Like, that's, uh... I'm assuming that was that touch was was on there in the original game, but I never noticed that. But there's the there's the nose and the two eyes, and then the, I guess teeth right there. Never noticed that. Okay. Because I don't have the uh, the HD models turned on, so I'm assuming that was that was always there in that texture. I just never. Oh, God. Okay, I think I have to hit the switch and then get up this ladder. As quick as possible. Okay. And then I... believe this. You have to do this? Yeah. Look at that, very real physics. Uh... Okay, I... I'm going on a journey there, I guess. The instant weapon swap. That's that's so weird that everything else the game makes you wait at least uh, a second to switch weapons. But no, hit that Q key and you're you're good to go. Okay. Really hope I didn't miss like a, a switch or something. Double barrel here. And of course I miss. Perfect. Nailed it. Very economical, economical use of, uh... I see you. Okay. Assume this is the coolant or the... Oh. Okay. Alright, so yeah, I'm hoping I didn't miss any other switches. So there was oxygen, fuel, and... A th there's a third switch, I think? Alright. goes back back to here. Okay. And then I guess I gotta make my way back up. Either that or like over there. 
I suppose I could just follow the pipes. Yeah, it's probably that pipe right there. Okay. Lighting. 1998 dynamic lighting, huh? to do something with those. This must be coolant? It looks like there's a leak. Barnacles in with these things. Okay. Oh, you did? I hope no one expects me to start up the generator. Oh, jeez. That... that seems safe. shooting at me. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh... Going up here, then? Okay. Get this clutch. This is my hiding spot. I'm not moving until the situation is drastically improved. Now go away, and don't tell anyone I'm here. Alright, that seems safe. And then... 
Probably this. That probably wasn't intended. Okay. NPCs are vital to my success. Oh, jeez. This... Alright, good luck to that guy. ladder. Uh. Okay. Oh, I did that. <laughs> Looking like, oh man, the pipe exploded. No, that was, that was me. Um, okay, I guess we're climbing out of here. Am I supposed to? Automatic medical systems engaged. That's probably why they put this thing here. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming we're good to turn on the the test fire. Oh. Now we got to make our way. Back up to the top of this thing. Drop through there. 
Jasper. Okay. Seems safe. A nice ladder that you can only reach from. Minor fracture detected. Seems like a great hiding spot right next to the toxic ooze. Okay. Alright. Everybody's favorite part underwater exploration. Is this Alundra now? Is that dumb underground waterway dungeon? We gotta jump on barrels. I guess it was it was logs in Alundra. Assuming that, I'm assuming I can just go on there to wherever that goes. Let's see. Oh, of course. Nope. Just in case. Probably not right. Let's let's just do that. Sure. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, nope. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Huh. I'm supposed to drop onto these? I'm supposed to drop on that one. Okay. And go back this way then. Okay, so the second set of pipes to drop onto. defeated. Probably just jump straight into there. Oh. 
Give me that. Just give me that. Okay. I assume you're supposed to drop onto the health there. Yeah. Okay, got a mine. Jeez, okay. I guess that's why they give you the, the health and armor station just before to this. Probably save the ammo for that for when we really need it. Power up. Yeah. Oh. Mind me. Surely this is... Alright, end me boss. I need to reload that save. That just doesn't do anything? Yes, it does do something. Okay, probably supposed to... getting a little tight there. Mister, you can get the power on. That train will take us straight to the surface. I would try it myself, but it's a long way down the generator room, and there are things in the way. Okay, generator room, turn on track power. Okay, that just changes that. We have to bring the tram onto there, flip this switch, and then probably take the tram that way.
Okay, not going that way. <laughs> I thought I was close, far enough away from those. Apparently not. Yep. They probably would have hit it themselves anyways. Guy's dead. <laughs> and this usually being a grenade. No. Is this Call of Duty? Did I just get... Somebody had that... That drop a grenade perk. Hey Joshua. Yep, the good old 100 FPS. My GPU is at a solid 3% utilization for this one. I'm putting that, uh... That 2070 Super to proper use here. Okay. Into the shaft. I'm assuming that's where we are. Track control, yeah, we've been there. Yeah, we went that way. Okay. Uh, everybody's favorite pastime in Half Life breaking random crates. And then, not getting anything from them. Oh. Alright, I do not trust these. Hopefully Half-Life 2 doesn't have any weird, uh, high frame rate issues like this one. This one kind of does. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. Condemned vibes, like the the 360 first person melee game. Yeah, the revolver looks a little too like cartoony compared to everything else. Is the weird shading they used on it? Okay. Like it's it's like the with the sprites. Condemned was a 3D game, I thought, unless it's a different game. I'm thinking of this is game fit spawning head crabs. Always reload, even if you're down one bullet. Gotta reload. This isn't a battlefield game, you don't lose your bullets. Okay. That's how elevators work. You push the button and then run over to it. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh... still take damage. Spawn on top of each other. Look, I can drop down in there. Okay, I have to turn off power somewhere. We're right there. of this. This is just a quick way to get back down to the maintenance area. Huh. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna pause it here for a couple minutes. I'm gonna take a short break. And then we'll be back for more Half-Life. Stay tuned.
Okay, so the... While I give my hand an extra minute or so here, I'll reiterate that I'm I'm playing through the Half-Life games because... Um, yo, this is Wild Arms, isn't it? Huh. Um, I'm playing through the Half-Life games because Half-Life Alex, which is a virtual reality game, is coming out on the 23rd of this month. And I wanted to play that when it comes out. Uh, and since it's been so long since I played the Half-Life games, well, I've only played two of them, for one. Uh, I wanted to play through the ones that I haven't played before and also, uh, refresh myself on the ones that I have played. Um, uh, so that's why between now and the 23rd, I'm gonna play through, uh, pretty much all the Half-Life games. Um, and also, because Alex is a VR game, uh, I also wanted to make sure that VR streaming works properly, so I figured out a way to properly capture VR stuff. I have a camera set up for VR stuff, and I'm able to show chat inside the VR helmet, so I'm still able to, to interact with chat. Uh, so let me show again the, uh, the video I took. Um, I made this, this video a little bit earlier today, just showing what, uh, what VR will look like here for, um, for the stream. So this is the one game that I was planning to, uh, to stream before Alex. It's a VR game. Uh, it's called Moss. Apparently it's a pretty short, short-ish, uh, VR game. So I'm not gonna have well, multiple cameras in the tale, bottom right. That's just something I kept on to, yours, to see what each camera does. But, but the, is not um, yours alone. I have no. the, the normal it camera that I'm currently using, and then I also have a 3D depth sensing camera, which together. is the more wide-angle one. Um, and that one will probably get more use when I do something that requires me to stand up. Uh... Well, the, the thing is with the with Sindanite. chat and the way it's set up what is that um, dark, skies the, uh, the chat the window forever. in the VR the is actually like the let, me, let me restart the video so I can I can point out exactly where it is. So in my field of view, the chat window is at an angle Your time like has this. Come at last. Uh, and you currently well, can't see it because it is above ago, my illustrator. This, finish. so right there. So this, this is, is where the chat is, alone. and it's roughly that no. density of uh, chat. Or for Discord chat, and, and the then for YouTube you chat, it's uh, it's gonna be over here and roughly yours. the same because I can rotate it. Shall we begin? And it's it looks like that. So I just I don't have to physically turn my head. I just move my eyeballs. <laughs> I just I turn my eyes to go look at it. What came uh, from those and I have tested it, and it is legible. It is legible, and it's out of the way of, uh, of the gameplay. The piece that had so, uh, the so yeah, it does actually work, weirdly an enough. And it's this free open-source program thing that somebody that uh, somebody night, developed and just released online. And it's, uh, it'll window capture any um, uh, anything that you uh, have on the same machine as the VR helmet. Uh, and it's neat. It works. So, uh, it, it requires a little bit more setup than the typical stream, but it does. It does actually work. So yeah, um, Moss is going to be going to be played sometime in the near future. Apparently, it's really short, like less than less than four hours or so. So potentially a one sitting game. Um, and like like for the playthroughs. Uh, Say if I if I finish like Half Life One really early into a stream, I have the option of doing Moss, um, or uh, doing like Portal. Portal is another short one. Uh, flip their hand, the chat pops up. Yeah, so that that's also another thing that that it can do. So the uh, there's two options or three options. One, you can have the chat attached to your viewport. So if you move your head, the chat moves with you. The, the o second option is to embed the chat window in the game world. So if you move your head, it will stay put. And let's say you put it like at your feet, you still have to physically look down to see the chat. Um, the third option is you can attach the chat to the controller object. Um, so you could have it so that the chat is actually facing away from you and you have to go like this to, to actually see the chat. 
The reason why I'm not going to use that is because for, uh, I believe for Half-Life Alex, um, doing that in the game actually serves a gameplay purpose. So that's why I, I, I've instead opted to just go with the, um, the gameplay in a, a static position, uh, for the whole thing. Hey, Highwind. Okay. All right. So with that, that shown and that said, let me take a drink and then let's get back at it. Let me take another drink. I haven't been hydrating enough for this. Okay. Hey, LCC. All right. Back at it. Okay. So yeah, I uh, I don't know when I'll when I'll do um, VR. Like if I if I know that we're like really towards the end of something, uh, then I'll I'll set some time aside to uh, to do either Portal or oh jeez or Moss because those I know don't take long. But it, it, at the very least, for Moss, that um, that's gonna take some setup. Jeez, are these? Yeah, I'm assuming those are enemies. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually playing a VR game and making use of my VR setup. Like, I, I bought the Humble Bundle, uh, VR bundle, recently, so I got, like, I think six or seven VR games, finally. As opposed to the mostly tech demos I've been playing with it. And then whenever Alex comes out, uh... Oh, that's all you have to do for this. Okay. Yeah, I'm really hoping that, um... Uh, that uh, apparently Sony's working on a better PSVR for PS5, and... Maybe now that they're... They're designing a lot of things around that, that, uh... Better PC VR will follow suit. But, you never know. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming that the... Railway is powered up now. Now that we did this. But yeah, so far the there's only been two things in VR that have actually impressed me, the stuff that I've played. Um, Google Earth VR, <laughs> which is uh, practically a tech demo. And then uh, Valve's The Lab, which is also a tech demo. No actual full proper game has has impressed me. But perhaps that'll change with, uh, with Alex. Alex looks really cool. Like, otherwise I would not be going through all this trouble if Alex didn't look like, uh, an amazing game. the grenade, didn't he? <sighs> Let's see those, huh? Okay. <sighs> Taking stock of our ammo here.
Yeah, that, that was some anime shit right there. Oh. Alright, so that, that's new, it looks like. Oh, it's just... This is probably there the whole time. Okay. Assuming this is where I'm supposed to go, but... Oh, hey. That's what was making that sound. There's a Pokemon over there. And then, suddenly it doesn't light up anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so Big Boy is still, still over here. Oh. I'm not even sure. Oh, track. Yeah, that's right. I'm never gonna make it. Yeah, track power's still off. Shit, I, I missed something apparently. Well, that's that's the way I want that to go. Oh shit, where's the... Where's the track control? I, so that's that's where I came from, I think. That's the thing I need to power up. Power generator. Huh. And this, uh... Something I missed somewhere down there, then. Guess we're going back down there. <sighs> but enemies are respawning up here, so clearly I have to go back here. Or something. And that just opens the door. Yeah. Assuming it's not down. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well. Still getting radioactive here. All right, power generator. I think I missed over here or something. Okay. So there is this. Sure there's nothing of note down there. Power generator. We've already been over there. 
Yeah. And the generator's down there. This just goes over here. Must be some... Okay, so whatever it is, it's got to be down here then. Excuse me? I guess on the bright side, I got my health back. Okay. We'll do this then. It must have been like the the corpse of this guy. I don't suppose there's anything under there that I missed. So we, we hit both buttons there. The power generator is on. The needle's in the green. We hit power one and two are on. Hit this. All right. Is it anything down here? Track power is still be off. So that's that bunker is up above me. Goes back up there. Okay. All right. Anything down here then? So whatever it is, it's it's up there, not here. Okay. Must be one of those 
Pokemon down there. That's some nice physics. Okay, we're not. Alright, nothing over here. Killed that Pokemon. Assuming whatever it is, it's probably not in there, but I'm gonna save and check. <laughs> no. Okay. We'll just do that. Okay. So track control is still powered down, for whatever reason. This does not have any buttons or switches here. Track control is still off. Gotta to talk to this guy again, maybe? What are you trying to do? Okay. I guess we're running to the... To that, then. Or in here. Eh? There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, big boy's just hanging out over there. Okay, all right, we figured it out. All right, I did it, buddy. This is... That's not... Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Alright, can I... Jump through here? to get wrecked, big boy. Um. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> well, somebody got wrecked there. I. Why is it sparking? Okay. Alright, that didn't go to plan. Alright, new plan. We're gonna stay on this thing. this.
<laughs> okay, all right, we did it. All right, we. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Perfect. Freeman, I've been waiting for you. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery rocket. I don't know where it is exactly, and the old guy was so worried about getting out of here alive, he didn't tell me. Main thing is, the military aborted the launch, so when you do find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Ah. Yeah. Sure. Alright. Is there health over here? It's not. Oh, there is a CU over here. Why would, why would I have needed to do that to go forward? Alright, later hidden. Have a good sleep. Scare me there for a second. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's safe to get out and recon here. Definitely got a... Maybe if I go under there and then reverse, I can get over to there. Easily I can get that other... The dog thing to... Come back so I can shoot it. This is this is not how this works. What? Okay. So I'm pretty sure if you if you step on the center rail in this area, it damages you. That uh, that is some um, some out of bounds doom shit over there. Somebody's not clearing the frame buffer. We got an uncleared frame buffer over here. Probably duck under this. Probably safer to do this though.
so I don't want to go over there just yet. Now, there. Or not. Okay. Looks like I can get over there if I go in there. That might be worth. Fight. Totally worth it. A great trade. Very successful. Surely. Oh, this just... Oh. Okay, well. I had to come here eventually, so sure, fine. Uh, okay. And then I could probably back up and... Go that way now. Puzzles and FPS games. Okay. Perhaps that skipped something. Or this is just for health and ammo. Oh, well, there's a load zone, so. It's something. Well, let's see where this goes. This, yep, yep, it goes into a bunch of ambushes. Okay, so apparently you need to get off the, get off the bus and do that on foot. Oh. There's one up there. Okay, that sounded like I got at least one. Okay, I don't hear any more. Fantastic shooting for me all around there. It's so hard to aim this gun in particular because there's just so much kick that it has. Yeah. All right. Well, I probably did skip something. Jesus. Okay. <sighs> well, the back of the box did say that that those guys will. This is some enormous ammo boxes. All right, so I can probably bring the bus up here now. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Mounted machine gun. So it's majority of them are to the left. quiet besides all the explosions and gunfire all right turns out this revolver is pretty good that like, oh, what would you do pull oh geez that was a remote turret Looks like I cleared this out pretty well here. Alright, now we can bring the bus up. I can never figure out how to get back to it. Uh, this is this is new, I think. Do I, even, do I even need the bus here? I should probably go get it. I should probably go get it. Oh, I 
triggered something. Whoop. I, I can't move. I can't move. I am stuck. Nice. Uh, was it no clip? What's the <laughs> fuck? Uh, dang it. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. You got to be really careful around loading zones in this when you're not on, not on the bus. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. You gotta, you gotta SV cheats one first. Yep, all clear. Was oh, this regular, regular no clip? Okay. That's probably gonna happen again. So I'll just, I'll just do that next time. See that shot? No. It's too busy looting these. Oh, those have items too. Dang. Okay, I was just trying to be thorough there. Okay. Alright. Ooh. I was just about to comment on that, uh, that look, that ceiling tile looks sketchy. Man, this game really likes its jump scares. Are the military dudes attacking Freeman? I, I believe the the military got orders to clear out the facility. Um, and that includes all personnel. Hello, Wilmson. Greetings from California. The God of Daggerfall. That uh, that is very much not me. It never was. Get into this. Like, <laughs> did they? <laughs> is this like cast of cask of Amontillado, except uh, with the machine gun? You just kind of crawl in there. Huh. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah, I wonder 
hurt those boys. All right. Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Yeah, definitely. I will definitely not use you as a bullet, the uh, bullet sponge, Barney. Yep, promise a wine. Here, just man this machine gun for a while. In exchange for a drink of wine. Just like the old story goes. Okay, let, let's not get caught in the... Caught in the wall here again. Okay, good. Oh, Barney's still there, at least. Barney is scared of the... Oh, God. Alright, clearly you're supposed to do this with the... The, the bus. Oh, is this, is this... Okay, this is a new area. Okay. <laughs> this is... I'm so lost already. Um... Okay, we've already been here. We cleared out this. Okay, it was like... Oh, it was on the other side of this, I believe. Uh... Okay, alright, found it. Bus. Okay. Alrighty. Hitting that rail. Okay, so now the real fun part of trying to figure out rails you need to take. Oh, that, that goes up there too. Okay, that's, that explains why that guy was giving me the business last time. Okay, it looks like you... Can't use that. All right. So I'm hoping that there's no no late spawns here. This is... <laughs> uh... Let's get the hell out of here. Alright. I... Sure. Okay. Apparently I was supposed to go... Yeah, then there's this, and... Supposed to blow that up or something? Oh. Oh. 
This this clearly looks like something you're supposed to take the the bus to though. Sure. Okay. All right, this must be that that rocket we're supposed to launch. Okay, so I brought our other bus all the way over here for for nothing. Great. Okay. All right, so we got motion things for mounted guns, it looks like. We got a Pokemon over here. over. What? <laughs> Dang it. I was clearly... There's a Pokemon over here somewhere, apparently. Something was shooting at me. Let's be like right over there. Hey. break here, I guess. Uh, okay. Don't mind me, just save scumming over here. I don't know. I, I think they're trying to... Trying to make it seem like the... Special Forces guys are, are morons or something? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just nope out of there. Okay. Um... Oh, there's, there's a guy on the... Alright. Don't mind me, just shoot you in the footsie. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming that was... 
that was everything there. Yeesh. Man, quick jerk. Okay. Beat the game in 35 deaths. Where are we up to right now? With, uh, 19? Yeah. Well, it, uh... It just means that I, I won't die to things that I've already been to, but... It won't save me from cheap deaths like the, the one I avoided there. This... this looks like... Nice. It just... it just eats your jump when you're... You're going around these things. Okay, don't get stuck in the... Get stuck in the wall. I'm already getting in the habit for for VR for the VR streams of physically moving out of the way of enemy fire. That's how you do it. We'll be ready to go for that Half-Life Alex playthrough. And it's like half jump scares, half... Like, really? Area secured. box. Okay, we got a satchel charge. Okay. Yeah, Lama Lana is gonna be... <sighs> I think I might actually put up a poll for, for that one for how many deaths and saves in total length that one will be. RE7 VR? Yeah, I think, I, I think that's PSVR only, but, um, I'm probably just gonna get PS4, PSVR eventually, anyways. Uh, and from the sounds of things, PS5 is going to be backwards compatible with PS4. And so will the VR stuff. Um, so what I'm probably gonna end up doing is just get the better, the best model of the PS5 and get the upgraded PSVR headset. And then... Um, play that one in uh in VR on uh on that system because it's, it's probably going to be a better experience anyways on a PS5 Wait Where am I going? Where Okay, we've been here. You played them all, never La Milana? Huh. Well, La Milana, from what I've seen of it, 
it's less less platforming and it's got a different distribution of puzzle solving to platforming so like you need to be good at multiple things to to succeed in in La Milana. This is uh Okay. And unfortunately, I'm not good at at anything. So Lamalana is going to be I got a flank. Oh, that's a grenade. All hostiles clear. I don't know about that. All right, well, there's one of them. Yeah. Whew. Isn't the uh, the Lords of Shadow games like uh, God of War style games rather than traditional manias? So it seems most of the traditional Vanias are like are on portable systems now, or at least they were for a while. And yeah, I haven't played any of those, so those those are on the backlog along with a billion other games. I haven't uh I don't think I've ever beaten any Castlevania games, like period. Full stop. I'm not sure which one I'm I'm gonna start with. Maybe whenever we eventually get to Soten in in PS Explosion. So it's left click to drop it and right click to Oh. Shit. <laughs> Perfect. Nailed it. That was flawless execution. Okay. Over there. Bunch of hard drives. 
Sure. Okay. All right. Rondo of Blood. That's the uh, PC Engine one. And also, I think, what, Mega Drive, too? I'm not sure that made it out west. Yeah. Okay. Is that for, like, for plot reasons, or... Or that's, like, the most beginner-friendly one, or what? Or is it, like, the hardest one by far, and you're, you're gonna make me start on the, the hardest one? <laughs> uh... Okay, so high production values, but it still plays like the old ones, I think. Uh, so PS Explosion has two Castlevania games. There's Symphony of the Night, and then there's one called... Um... When did I last save? No. Another one called Origins, I think? Which has some, like... some other one that I've I've never heard of ask me anything about Castlevania I haven't heard of all of them but I especially hadn't heard of uh, the one that was part of part of that one. Oh nice they they took sprites from that yeah I yeah come to think of it they all have like I I I want to say that they're Soten sprites, because I recognize them from Soten, but yeah, they're probably from that game. Uh, okay. Probably supposed to bring the bus up here. Oh, it's a remake of Castlevania 1. Nice. Can't wait. Original PC? Okay. Well, I, I can just play that on Mister then. Because I plan on, uh... I'll add that to the, the Mister list then. And, uh, and actually, speaking of Mister, from the sounds of it, there's going to be Jaguar support at some point. Jaguar support is in development for for the Mister, so I am always very glad that I did not make the horrible mistake of buying a Jaguar, because now I won't need to. At least shoot this thing. They don't even let you shoot this thing. Oh, X68000 Caspania? X68000, by the way, the best name for a console or system. I guess it's like this weird PC thing. Like, what a, what a cool name. And stuff like the Sega Mark III SG-1000. I just went in a big circle, didn't I? Okay. So over here is where we haven't been. And I ate my jump again. Oh yeah, the FM Towns Marty. Yeah, that, that was pretty good too. I agree. But the classic console. The FM Towns Marty. Uh...
Why is the blue beam... what? What the hell? Excuse me? Oh, I see you. What is a mister anyways? Um, a mister is a... Uh, I don't think I have mine within reach of me. It's a little single board computer about that big that um, has a chip on it called an FPGA, which is a field programmable gate array. And what it does is it allows itself to reconfigure its insides on the fly to um, emulate the hardware of old systems down to the chip level. So what that means is that um, when you're running a emulated, let's say emulated in quotes, game on a mister, hardware-wise, it, um, it functions identically like clock cycle by clock cycle, or as close to identically as it can be to original hardware. Which is why if you, if you have a mister that's plugged into a CRT TV, an old tube TV, um, through an analog cable, which is how I use mine, and you have the original system also plugged into that same TV, you'll be hard pressed to, to spot a difference between the, the mister and the original hardware. Um, and another thing that, that makes it more accurate is that just like the original hardware, um, it, uh, it runs all of the chips at the same time. Uh, rather than an emulator and a traditional CPU, which has to run all these instructions in order. So it has to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get to result of 6. Whereas the mister can do steps 1 through 4 all at the same time and and still arrive at 6. So it, it doesn't require anywhere near as much um, processing power. This is, this is horrible. All right, Kobe. Almost Kobe. Got him. Okay, I probably got him with like the second shot, but oh well. <laughs> so that's that's one of mysteries. It is a the the base board is called a DE10 Nano, and it's a development board for like just developing generic electronics projects within a PGA and then with just that and like a USB controller you can you can emulate again emulating quotes here um, a whole bunch of systems with it there's add-ons for extra memory uh, so the extra memory lets you uh, run more systems on it what is with all these <laughs> all that that that's just gonna drive me crazy, because it's gonna think that there's... That there's, uh... Mines everywhere. Uh, and then there's also something called the I.O. board, the input-output board, which I also have, and that, um... That gives you, uh, analog video out, so that you can connect your mister to... Uh... And yeah, the, the D10 Nano, the base thing, is, um, it's like 140 bucks. And then you can build the analog board yourself and also the memory. Um, which is what I did with mine. I just, I built it myself. It's not difficult to do if you've got, uh, if you've got the soldering skills to do it, which I did. Um, 
Yeah, you can you can get a pre-built one. Well, well, the thing is, is that is that some people call it building a mister when all they're doing is taking the board and putting another one on top of it, and then putting the memory on it, and then slapping a case on it. That's that's assembling one. <laughs> What I mean by building it is that you order the the circuit board, you order the components from a mini from the a supplier. You get your soldering iron out or your hot air, and you pick and place every single little component on the board, and then you you assemble it onto the the final thing. That is actually making a mister. Or you could just buy the pre-assembled things from from others. What? Who's what? Who's shooting at me? Where are you? What? Yo. <laughs> Take that. Um, uh, but yeah, there's, uh... Um... You can probably get, like, a, a fully... A fully featured one for not a huge amount of money. Off of, like, eBay or something. Um, there is, there's a guy who built the parts, I think if you just do a Google search for Mr. Mr. Parts, I'm sure you can, you can find the... Okay, I should probably toss a grenade over that wall there. And now that I know there's a guy up here... That's probably him? Okay. But yeah, it's, uh... It is very easy to do. To, um, to put together a mister. The hard part is, is probably just, uh... Getting the SD card together with all the all the ROMs and stuff on it, but it can it can play uh, NES, which looks and plays pretty much identically to the actual system, and it's a hell of a lot easier than RGB modding. Then RGB modding a NES yourself, and also way cheaper. So just the NES RGB mod that you still have to install yourself, just that mod itself is like a hundred and... I think it was over a hundred dollars for, for that mod, and it's... That modification itself is a huge pain in the ass. Because you have to remove a, a chip from the NES board, so you have to desolder the whole thing. Solder in this, uh... This, this looks... Okay. I should probably satchel charge this. And then you still have to install the NES thing yourself. And then on top of that, um, oh, that, that didn't work. Uh, and then you also need a flash cart for the NES. Great. Um, so that's even more money right there. So just, just if you're just doing NES stuff, it already pays for itself. Um, okay, can I, uh, jump around this like this, perhaps? And yeah, it, uh, it supports Amiga. It uh, it does a pretty good virtual um, 486 for DOS stuff. Um, Commodore 64, uh, Commodore 16, 
Genesis slash Mega Drive. Uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Uh, SMS. Yeah, the, the big old backpacks. Yep. Well, this one. Sure. Satellite array status offline. Satellite portal array. Okay. Alright, there's our portal call out. Um... So it also does TurboGrafx-16 slash PC Engine. It does Super Graphics, which if you wanted a legit Super Graphics, those things are like $300 right there. And it it emulates it perfectly. <laughs> like, it, it's amazing. Like, it's, it's such a cool device. Um, but that said, uh, a thing to keep in mind that is that the new um, OSSC Pro that's coming out relatively soon, probably later this year, um, is also going to have that chip in it. Uh, and it will also be able to run most of that stuff built into the OSSC Pro. So if, you, if you're still planning on using real hardware and want to hook that up to an HDTV, um, or for streaming capture like I do, uh, that device is, is t <laughs> that is the slowest rocket. All right, satellite launched. Hey, okay. bring on the drum loops. Uh, so yeah, the, the OSSC Pro will also do that. Um, but if you don't care about any of that, then by all means, just go for a, uh, a Mr. It'll, it will be cheaper, because the OSSC Pro is... Oh, it's probably going to be at least $250 in parts. And that's compared to the about 150 that the current one is. So it's... Uh, it'll be significantly more. Okay. All right. Where to now? I'm assuming that this, uh, yeah, those are going to be open. Oop. Here goes 20 HP, just like that. Man, <laughs> that's really annoying. Okay, I'm going to go back and heal then. And yeah, um, so even though you're using uh, USB controllers for it, uh, input lag is not an issue. Um, like, I, I wouldn't say that I'm particularly picky about input lag or anything, but uh, you can set it so that the, the Bluetooth and or USB controllers pull at uh, a really high rate. They pull a thousand times a second, um, which does actually make a noticeable difference. I'm playing games, and I use a uh, uh, a DualShock 4 as my main Mr. Controller. Uh, and that's, uh, that's worked well enough for me, but um, if you want to use... This is where I gotta go. This, this weird echo is really disconcerting. Oh, we got a different kind of bus this time. Okay. Sure. 
But yeah, if you're if you're really into retro gaming, you really can't go wrong with the mister. And it's only getting better. Like I I only kind of lucked into mine. Okay, we trapped. I can't control my bus anymore. Um Yeah, there's a third one somewhere. So he got turned into a drumstick. Okay. Sure. But yeah, the the only thing that might uh be caused to wait or I guess to buy immediately is that um with the whole coronavirus COVID nineteen thing, uh like parts are getting more expensive because of um Limited supply because of factory production and all that. Um, so things m things might get more expensive by like let's say twenty percent. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. Oh, that's a that's a zany. Yeah, if the price isn't an issue, especially as it currently is, um, then yeah, I'd say totally go for it. Especially with, uh, um, like, comparatively how much original hardware would cost for flash carts, the systems, the all the weird RGB upgrades. Like, it's <laughs> it's such a good deal. Like, I, I'm actually a little mad because the... Uh, all this stuff came out after I I bought a bunch of flash carts and did all these RGB modifications and shit. This this would have saved me damn near a thousand dollars for the for the Mister. Had that come out or had I known about uh, it being a possibility before I got all that stuff. Man, I hate underwater levels so much. Yeah. Okay. Is... Oh. Okay. All that was for that, apparently. Or not? Huh. Between that and emulating, yeah, the, um... Well, well the thing that Mr. gives you that emulating wouldn't... Um, is being able to play on a an analog CRT monitor, kind of how it's supposed to be seen. Like as as great as it is playing stuff on an OLED through an OSSC and all that, it's not quite the same. Oh jeez, am I stuck? Uh... Oh, also Sega CD is another thing. That's a uh, Mega CD. Um, is another thing that uh, that came out recently, and that's another thing that if you're if you're trying to use original hardware with that, then good luck. Like find finding one with a laser that works and uh, um. Just getting getting one as in itself, like those are two hundred bucks or so, and then the the discs for for Sega CD games are rotting. So even if you do get a working Sega CD with a good laser, um, and you get the the super overpriced copy of the original game, there's a good chance that it won't even work. <laughs> Let's just drop under there, maybe? Uh, 
Um, and then same for like TurboGrafx CD. Like those things are are super rare and expensive. Oh, and Amiga 500, yeah. The um, uh, you can you can set the the Mister to uh whatever type of Amiga you want. Like, uh, pretty sure it'll do Amiga 500 just fine. Um, I think it I think it goes up to like 5,000 or 4,000, whatever the. This is this is not going great. Okay. I hate underwater levels so much. <laughs> and then, yeah, you, you don't have to mess around with floppy emulators or anything weird like that. Um, yeah, modded for SD slots. So, yeah, that's just a, a floppy emulator. I have something similar in my uh, my DOS machine, but I hardly ever used it. I only used it for installing DOS and Windows, and then and then I just put an SSD in my my DOS machine and never looked back. Yeah, apparently there's really cool um, Amiga Amiga things recently that uh, make them go super fast, but I don't know. <laughs> Stuff like that, I, I never really got the point of um, of things like that. Like, hey, cool, this thing could could do this, or you could. Jeez. This is... Okay, down there is where I'm going to go. This is. It's making the door opening sound. Okay, it moves something out of the way down there. <sighs> okay. What the fuck? It's... Maybe you're supposed to interact with that from the other side? <laughs> okay, that's where I came from. Okay, this... Yeah, that was it. What? Now where am I? Oh. What the fuck? Going that way. Dead end. Okay, I'll... Wait, I'm... Suffocating again? Okay. I'm not even sure if I'm even supposed to be there. Okay, let's save there. Uh, 
I was probably supposed to. Yep. <laughs> Fine. I, I don't even know what the- ah! I'm not even sure what the, the point is even supposed to be in that area. physics over there. Did you see it? They said it was hauled from the Challenger Deep, but I'm positive that beast never swam in terrestrial waters until a week ago. There's a tranquilizer gun in the shark cage. I'm not sure it would work on this species. You're welcome to try. Okay. Sure. Alright, good. I'll take it. Did we already have the, the daylight savings? Like it's... The clock says it's 3.33 and... I'm pretty sure we already had the uh, lost an hour. So I was wondering why it's so late. Like, I haven't been streaming for that long, have I? I've been streaming for four and a half hours, and I started at 10. Okay, yeah, so we already, already lost an hour. Thanks, daylight savings. Okay. the way back up. Nice animations. <laughs> Got him. Eh? Their ammo down here. Yeah, the crossbow is a... I believe it's a... Yeah, so hold down right... Or just hit right click to... To do that. I remember that being a thing. And it does about as much damage as the, uh... The revolver? Or a little bit more? But, uh, that'll be a situational thing. Never know I'm here. Oh shit! Alright. I fell right into the trap. <laughs> I should have cleared out those barnacles. Uh... There we go. 
got the got the slippery floors here. Yep, I knew it. I, I saw that that crack in the in the floor. Thought that's probably gonna break. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're fine. I don't think I can even make that jump. Oh, I see you. Failed. Hopefully my stream didn't go down. Okay. Uh, shit. I could probably make that jump. Come on, Ru. Wi-Fi connection problem. Dang it. Okay. You have to do this manually here. Oh, that's right. I can't. Shit. <laughs> uh... This one work? There we go. Okay. All right. Plan B. Of course. Oh, there's two of them. Cool. Oh god, not the fucking blobfish. Get fish moly out of here. What the fuck? What? How am I not able to make this jump on that? Okay, there we go. And then... That I gotta make it through that hole, I guess, because that's gonna that's gonna be a bad time. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. There's G-Man up there. It's probably not a good use of my revolver ammo. Yeah, there he is. Creeping, as usual. Uh, there is no O2 bar, so what happens is if you're underwater for too long, in the lower right-hand corner, I, I believe right here, it says O2, and your health just depletes. Oh, no, lower, lower left, or it says O2, and then once you get back, um, get back to oxygen, your health goes back up. So your HP is your your health bar. Uh, try and get my. My tablet working here again. Okay. All right. This goes back to fish room. No. Oh, 
Uh, that's Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 has that, uh... Has that on there. One just kind of has it all combined into one thing. This works. Good. Okay. Generator control. Oh. Yeah, that's what this is for, I guess. Tracking your progress with the Black Mesa security system. Unfortunately, so is the military. That suit of yours is full of tracking devices. Still, it's better than going naked in this place. It's cold in there, and you'll have to hurry. It could sap your suit power in a matter of moments. If you're bent on reaching the Lambda complex, then you'll want to keep to the older industrial areas where the security system is full of holes. It's worked for me so far. Okay. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. So... Jump scares. Okay. Good lord. Freeman, right? I've got a message for you. Make sure you don't.
Uh. Make sure you don't. Uh. Backflips, huh? Eh? Oh man, dang stressful. Maybe I did get them all. Easy, no problem. Wasn't worried at all. Good on ammo, finally. <sighs> okay. So I... So I supposed to hold down the... Down?
Uh. Where are we taking this Freeman guy? Top side for questioning. What the hell for? We got him. Let's kill him now. Uh, and if they find the body? Body? What body? <laughs> so I finally have full ammo for everything, and then... Trusty crowbar. Okay. Okay, great. So gonna find weapons all over again. Great. We can get the game all over again. Do not close outlet without closing intake. But we bad enemies. Where's he going? What? Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, at least give me your gun. Okay. Thanks, Barney. There's a clip. Some ammo over here somewhere. I don't think I picked it up. Oh, apparently I did. There's probably something over there. worked out, I guess. So that's that's the door we couldn't get. There's help down there. All 
All right, this must be where where Barney got killed. up having to come back here anyways. Okay. Alright, I'll just load my save if I miss this jump again. going on over there. Nice. Uh. Is it going there? No. Okay. So you can probably just do this. Oh no, it's slippery. Okay, never mind. Perfect. That's why you can't just do that. in there and then So you can see the, the seams in the water. <laughs> nice water, bro. Like it's got a mouth. Eh. All right. Don't get... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. I'm going to go under this and crouch. <laughs> Hey. All right. We appear to be okay. Oh man. Wait, I'm back here. Ooh. Uh, um. Nope. Okay. All right. Probably 
this way. But this probably takes me back to the start. Oh, jeez. This looks especially awful. All right. Three. Okay. And just some satchel mines, you know, as... As they do, just keep them there. Yeah, I have like no ammo. Okay, I'm hoping I don't have to go through that for any reason, but I have a hunch I do. Okay, so that one's going backwards. Hey, hey, quit it. So why would they ever have to go backwards? Also, I'm stuck. Can I? Okay. <laughs> I was caught in this thing when it moved on to me. Um, so yeah, I probably have to go through there. Why would you ever go backwards, though? What? Okay. All right, let's do this. about as well as to be expected. <laughs> well, maybe there is a reason for doing this and this. Maybe it... it if you have some of them in reverse, it makes the other ones go quicker. Also, I keep getting stuck here. It won't let me operate the middle one for some reason. It's only the side ones you can reverse. Okay, maybe that changes this. supposed to Okay, what happens if I get on this one? And... see what what that's all about then <laughs> we can do it out all right is there anything else i missed over here oh it's just sure what's the point of that lore okay yeah it's a great puzzle middle. Fucking hell. Oh, man. Like, the, the physics is just launching me. Okay. All right. We did it.
anything. Yeah. All right. This looks like something out of uh, Quake 2. Okay. Yep, that seems safe. Okay. I'm assuming I don't want to go in this thing. stairs. Sure, where to go once I get back up there? No. Yeah, it brings us back here. Okay. So then. Maybe if you drop down onto there, you can. Hmm. I don't suppose this goes somewhere meaningful. Somehow did damage to me from a mile away? Sure. Come on, game. Really? I have to... looks fairly straightforward. Okay. Get a flashlight back there. Assuming there's nothing I missed over there. Okay. Alright, At least not taking damage here. Oh, that brings you here. Okay. Well, okay, it, it is nice that they they put in all these backtracks here. That if for whatever reason you wanted to go back that way, they thought ahead and put a door there. Oh, jeez.
Don't get eaten by barnacles. Seriously? I hit one. Alright. Got all the good boys. done that. Little testing, testing area. I'm not sure I want to release those. Hey, it's no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding somewhere in the labs. Maybe with both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out. All right. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. And I'll take your ammo when you inevitably die. Okay, so we got satchels and this and a crowbar. Not looking good on ammo. <laughs> Get that strafe going. <laughs> to be stealthy here, Barney.
All right, looking for target practice, I guess. Go get him, Barney. I really want that crossbow. And that, that bullet spread is something else. Okay. is that? That. Oh. Okay. Sure. Take it. This looks like that thing's gonna go down this room. shot him. Okay. there for now. I might... Nope. a grenade right there. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Let me just leave this here for a second. there be that door
Back to the lobby. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we cleared out most of this area. Still looking for a scientist though, so I gotta be careful with explosives. I'll let them. I'll let them sort that out. Sounds like the big boy is somewhere. Okay. Primary laser. What is this thing? S some kind of weapon? Put that down. It's a prototype. Man, why aren't we using it? It's much too unpredictable. Don't let it overcharge. What, what do you mean, overcharge? <laughs> uh... Okay. So that's... So four is energy weapons, I guess. Eh? Rip our scientist. Okay, need another laser. Man, when there when there actually is music in this game, it's pretty good. It's just been so rare. Oh yeah, Red Faction is, uh... Red Faction is a game that... I got that game the second I heard about its gimmick. And I... I think I Game Sharked my way through that one. So that, that one is definitely on the... On the backlog to-do list. Because, man, what a, what a cool thing. The... The Geo Mod tech in that game. So unique. Like, it, it made for some goofy things you could do to levels, and also kinda... kinda bland levels, to be honest. But... Man, it was a cool... <laughs> a cool thing, especially for PS2. Okay. 
Okay, so what's the... Oh, he's pr probably supposed to obstruct the shield and have it break through the wall. Um, so how do I do that? Oh, this. <laughs> Puzzles. Yeah, uh, Red Faction 2 is a very different game because they didn't do, like, full level Geomod. They did, like, hey, you could break this wall and just this wall only. <laughs> like, that ain't the same as, as Red Faction 1. Red Faction 1 was, hey, you could put a charge here and then just blow up everything from here down to two miles straight down if you wanted to. You could tunnel through anything in the game. Okay, so this is behind the... the lab. Okay. Oh, what a cool thing. Especially for a PS2 game. Like, that's... that's... crazy that, uh... they are able to achieve something like that. Wait, why did I have to reload? I'm just behind the lab. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, I think Red Faction 1 and 2 are, uh, are on PC now. A scientist. Thank God. Get us out of here before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. We all have retinal scanner access. Escort us to the lobby, and we can get out of the lab. Okay, just... You'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. Oh. Peter switched it on, but I'm afraid he never made it back. I was wondering, like, th this guy is talking without his lips moving. Weird. And, yeah, those two. Yeah, and then, uh, Red Faction Guerrilla kind of changed to a GTA slash, uh... Why can I... GTA slash Saints Row type. And, uh, that one was pretty good, too. With my brains and your brawn, yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent. Alright, just don't die to that. Okay. Okay, the quickest way back was this way. I think. I'm sure this is the way back to... As long as there's no new spawns here, then we are good. Well, I'll let you out, but I'm not. It's hell out there. It's completely under military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other, and I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way. But if you do survive and somehow make it across the base, you'll end up at the Lambda Complex, where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I wouldn't venture there myself, but I will let them know that you are coming. Were they always on PC? No. Um, like, 1 and 2 got ports later. But I believe they were console exclusive when they first came out. I don't believe one was always on PC. At least not initially. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Like, maybe it got one like a year later or so, but... Pretty sure it was PS2 only for at least a while. Unless the, the release... The release data on Moby Games or... Uh... 
but there is contradicts, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's PS2 only for a little bit. It's not gonna let me save, huh? Let's run right behind the explosive barrels. Oh jeez. Jeez, that got that got real crazy real quick. Okay, yeah, so well that sure that that's close enough for it to be simultaneous. I get we're all right. We're all correct. But yeah, that is that's close enough to, to be simultaneous. Like the PC version was probably just slightly delayed. Okay. in here. So it's either going to be helicopter or that thing. Yep, yeah, that is, that's a nice looking skybox out there. You can count those pixels. So I can probably go in the water now and get past uh the fuck am I supposed to go here? <laughs> okay. So there there is a crank to turn down here. Alright, please die, please. fish, yep. Get up there, come on. The fuck are you supposed to do here? <laughs> okay. Alright, so clearly two good shots with this on Angry Fish will will solve our angry fish problem.
They're actually back. Get on down here. What? I, uh, okay. Hey? Alright. Oh, shit. Storm drain hatch that way. that storm drain. Just ammo at the, the most random places here. Alright, storm drain, where are ya? Storm drain hatch, that way. NB helicopter. Maybe that's the hatch control and the actual hatch is over here. Jump. I 
behind here to get views. Those are... Field. Fuck. Sure. Alright, we broke our legs, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, this is the... This is the Valve logo music. Oh, shit. goes with my health. <laughs> Only five more deaths, yep. It's, it's not looking good for my prediction. Say that is, uh, I farted. How did that not? Hey. those things. Perfect. You're getting caught on the wall here. It's, it's making... moving along here. 
more difficult than it should be. I guess whenever that happens, it's like a environmental clue as to which direction you should be going next. there and take it. All right. And of course, that's our cute helicopter to come get some. But not before I get a bunch of help. Okay, so you can right click to turn off the the seat is seeking. Okay. Alright. Fuck you, helicopter. Yeah, blow up on that blurry skybox. Okay. <laughs> Feel much better about this now. to get over this. <laughs> Wait, this is... I'm stuck again. Okay, so it's... It's just no clip? Okay. SV cheats. So this, this is not cheating. But I just need to get unstuck here. I still can't move. God damn it. Did that, did that get me unstuck? There we go, okay. All right. And then SV cheats, zero. Okay. All right, all that was to just get unstuck. All right. Yeah, it is a little weird that even the HUD stuff echoes, but... Oh, jeez. But it does make some sense. Uh... Skull. The world's slowest grenades. Yep, I, I got soundly outplayed there. Man.
that tank. So you're probably supposed to just stealth through this, but ain't got time for stealth. There's another tank. Yep, that is another tank. Okay. Probably supposed to to go over here and plant a charge like right there. Instead, I just went at a head on, and it it worked out. Um, so I can probably go there to behind that other tank, or I could uh, instead just blow it up. to go this? No. But, uh... Hello? seems like a great place to to put a bunch of mines is right around your ordnance storage facility man these a lot of z fighting going on here this is called z fighting by the way if you want to know the the technical term for this it's when two surfaces are on the same z position and they they fight or which one is going to be shown. Z fight. Man, how... 
I guess I could just jump over it, but this is annoying that I have to. Help me. Somebody, please help me. I'm, I'm dying out here. Please help me. Throws Gordon. Okay. Uh. Store. Okay. Maybe I can clear out these mines with one of these. I can get into there and get some more ordnance, perhaps. I missed one. Okay. Oh, we have to go that way. All right. Okay, I can't, I, I can't die anymore. I can, I can afford to die one more time. We can do it. With, uh, this is the final boss right here, so we... We're practically in there. I'm not worried at all. What a fantastic place to quick save or auto save, whatever happened there. Fucking hell. have to hold left oh. or hold forward I guess where is it where are they even shooting from Do they have like a turret set up okay I got him but fucking hell okay is there a mine here no Probably... Yeah. Warning. Vital sign. Like what? Yeah, it's... <laughs> so even with the, the OP crossbow...
Finally. Okay, so now what? Uh, probably have to shoot these to... Okay, and then that de-electrifies that. And... Fall off. Not breakable. Yep. That probably. Or that. Guessing this though. Oh, hey. You're heading for the London complex, aren't you? I was heading there myself until I wound up here and, well, simply lost it. That war, and you'll see what I mean. If you intend to go on, then I beg of you, proceed with extreme caution. Sure. Yes, let's go. I don't suppose you'd reconsider. Doesn't have healing for me? I guess I have to be under a certain threshold. Okay. So it sounds like there's gonna be mines everywhere here. Yep. Okay. Tried to move out of the way. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't set off any of them here. Ah, because it's the ordnance storage facility. I see. Okay. I see. Okay. All right. It's physics puzzle time. Everybody's favorite time. Okay. Which means I probably want to avoid breaking a lot of the boxes. out head crabs like the instant I see them that they don't set off any trip wires oh <laughs> this is back where I just was Okay, I'm assuming I can't go under this, or I can. Sure. Right. 
Hopefully that wasn't a horrible mistake. Alright. That one I need to... So this one I can probably just break that and then break this. Okay. And then... Shorter box would be nice. I need to... Oh, jeez. Definitely a head crab here. Maybe multiple. Okay. All right. The fuck out of here. <laughs> I. Oh. Okay. Oh. Not stack. Okay, so this gun, uh, if I remember correctly, it has infinite ammo. So a right click is just shoot it straight forward. And then left click are homing shots, I think. Which is why they do that. And it also has rapid fire. So this is... This thing's pretty good. Okay. And it can kind of shoot around corners too. Oh shit. Shoot me, Barney. Yeah, so it just maxes out at 8 ammo. Pretty good. Okay. Oh shit, it's already 512. Okay. Alright, I think here's where we're gonna cut this for tonight. 553, my hands are really feeling it anyways, so we'll we'll stop the timer here. We are a good distance. Our luck has to through the game. And we will f totally finish this in the next uh, the next sit down with this. So for um, for the next stream, gonna finish Half Life One, and then depending on how long it takes, probably going to finish uh, finish uh, the bad anime PS One mech game, so we can just get that out of the way. I looked up an FAQ for uh, Vanguard Bandits, and my hunch was correct that the extra enemies stop spawning after the second wave of them. Um, so I, I made a save right before the second wave spawned. Uh, so we can pick up from there, and all I have to do is clear out the remaining Imperial units there, heal up my party, and then just throw everybody at the boss. And then that's it. That's, that is the last thing I have to do in that, besides watch the credits. So we'll be done with that one, and then depending on how long that takes, um, if we have extra time, I might start Portal. Because that, that should be completable in probably the amount of time that we'll have left, depending on, on how everything goes. So um, that will likely be the plan for, for the next stream, but as always, things may change, so who knows. Um, at the very least, though, gonna gonna beat Half-Life. And then do uh, uh, 
boring enemy game. Yeah. Uh, uh, making the big assumption here that everything goes to plan, which you know me in plans, right? Okay, so thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a great day, night, morning, or evening, wherever you are. And have a good one. Take care. See you next time.